So welcome back to sharing your experiences. This time I'm bringing you to Kasia Boydalska. She's one of those really smart women that you can hardly ever meet in your life. And why am I saying this? Imagine yourself to find a pretty face and an extreme engineer. Someone with an entrepreneur soul? Think in your case, how many people you can meet like her in your daily activities? She's one, and there is one additional secret about this woman. She's an expert in public speaking. If you are going to believe that someone can come and bring you anything and sell to you, that's her. But I wouldn't like to go far about that, and maybe she can tell about some of those secrets about who is really Kasha. Hello, everyone. Uh, as Federico said, I'm Kasia, and currently I'm studying my master's in functional materials in Finland at Aalto University. It's my first year, and uh, the program is called Chemical, Biochemical and Materials Engineering, so an engineering field. And I have also a minor in design thinking, so I merge my creative side with more of a technical um, field. I graduated nanotechnology in Gdańsk in Poland, so it was more there about computer science, about electronics, about physics. Now I'm more into maybe a little bit of chemistry, but still staying in the physics field. And my main um, main study focus is about 3D printing, about new smart materials. So that's me. <laughs> well, as we can see. She's an extremely smart woman. Not many will be able to do that. And I don't see myself playing with physics or with chemistry, even though I was wood in the school. So now going further, Kasia, what was your motivation to become an engineer, really? It's like not many women go to this area and many people will be scared. So how did you finish here? <laughs> That's actually a pretty tricky question because I didn't really know what to do with my future when I was in high school. And as I was always keen on maths, on biology and chemistry, I realized that a technical university is the university for me. And there were also quite many events that were encouraging girls to start studies at a technical university. So. I understood that, okay, I'm just going to apply. And I applied to a few technical universities and eventually I ended up studying nanotechnology. And what was the most exciting part of, of this adventure of being an engineer? Uh, I have a guess that it was my internship, actually. Because when I did my bachelor's, I also uh, ended up on an exchange for the whole academic year in Finland. And after my exchange, I felt I've learned a lot and I ended up doing an internship in Denmark that was related to 3D printing of pre-surgical organs and meals, personalized meals for patients in hospitals. And actually this internship gave, gave me so much knowledge and inspiration that I then tried to, to share with other people. That was it. That sounds really fantastic, Kasia. And how do you see it about 3D printing is going to influence our daily lives? Well, we can see that 3D printing is becoming more and more popular. In the past, you couldn't imagine you can buy a 3D printer for yourself and start printing at home. And right now, it's totally doable. You have so many different techniques of um, how to 3D print. It's not only about printing with filament, but you can also print uh, by curing a resin. So you have many, many different possibilities. You have many different application areas, starting with medicine and ending in um, in space industry. It's pretty impressive. So I believe that like in the future, more and more things will be 3D printed. Just like right now, we already have homes. We already have uh, some parts for, uh, for rockets. We already have some medical implants. We have so many things that will be just growing with time and we will not even realize, but 3D printing will become a normal part of our lives. And that sounds really awesome. I, I completely agree with you that 3D printing could be part of our next new normal in our, in our lives. How do you see yourself using 3D printing to build a better world, Kasia? <laughs> Well, 
I didn't yet decide what I want to do after my studies, so maybe I will not end up with 3D printing many amazing stuff. But um, but I recently got very interested with uh, with printing based on curing a resin, but not with the normal SLA method, but another one that is uh, currently developed at Berkeley. It looks like from Star Trek, the machine that you just like see that something is teleporting to you. It just occurs in the resin. It's pretty nice to watch. Uh, yeah, but I would say still the medical field and the bioprinting, it needs a lot of development and it would be nice to work with it at some point. Thank you, Kasia, for sharing us those beautiful thoughts. And how would you encourage more women to involve in the engineering area? Because I'm an engineer and I really believe that we need more like you in our area. <laughs> I don't think that they need encouragement. Women, we are equal to men, and I believe that we can have the same successes when it comes to engineering. It's so much fun, and that depends on the discipline that you want to uh, to further develop yourself in. For me, it's more about chemistry, biochemistry, materials engineering, but for the other girls, it can be civil engineering or it can be IT. And it's just so much fun. Just find something for you and start doing it. That sounds fantastic. And I know, Kasia, that you enjoy contests and you enjoy to be an entrepreneur. What can you tell us about the latest contest that you are taking part? The latest contest? Um, right now, for example, I'm taking part in a circular economy related contest. And I guess before I was also taking part in a contest by Health and Giving Company that was called Planet A. And we were meant to think about um, how to use uh, ecology and environmental education, how to develop there some kind of idea for educating other people. Yeah, that was it. So right now it's more about ecology. What can you tell us about the circular economy and how this contest are very important for us because I believe that we need to build more of the circular economies. Yes, exactly. We have to be more and more sustainable and we have to end the loop of over resources. We have to find some issues there um, because there are like many issues that we have as a society and we have to face them. Right now in this contest, we are focusing more about packaging, about food industry. Um, and we want to find there a solution, but we are leaving other categories to open, like, for example, mining, resources, batteries, and so on. Maybe Amazon will be your next employee. employer. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Amazon is doing, as we know, a lot of packages, and maybe you have the right key to optimize their production. Any final folks that you would like to share, Kasia? For the girls, go and be engineers. And for everyone who's watching us, just do your best and explore and experience all the engineering issues because it's so inspiring to find what was already developed and develop stuff by yourself. Thank you very much, Kasia. And I hope that more women are listening to you because we need more in our area that can bring their innovation, their ideas, and being a great example as Kasia is. Thank you very much. See you the next time. Thank you, Federico.